What's your name, huh? Uh, Kelly Castillo. Okay, and tell us, because you had a tiny home at Wood Street. Tell us what happened with that. Uh, they put a notice on the door, like seven, five days, I think they gave us to move out. And um, and then they ended up demolishing the homes. They, they grant us, they gave us a small grant for it, but uh, it really wasn't enough. I mean, it's not going to replace my home. Exactly. So now I'm living in a, a pop-up trailer, which is, the walls are so thin. I mean, it doesn't provide any safety. I felt safe in the tiny home. Right. And that wasn't just a shack, either, like the cities are putting up. It was more like a house. I mean, the way it was built was solid. It was a exactly. solid building. Can, can you tell us um, what's going on right now here? Uh, well, they moved everyone to over here, to this location. Um, and now we just got a notice today put placed up on the trailers or the whatever anyone is living on saying that everything has to be removed by August the 1st <clears throat> due to a cleaning but it doesn't feel like a cleaning it feels more like a, they're evicting you and um, I don't know where I'm gonna go and I really I'm really really angry the whole thing of just standing around watching them while they demolish the homes. It just really sparks, it ignites more than just an emotion. I mean, just, it leaves you feel, it's wrong. When something makes you feel like this, it's wrong. Exactly. You know? And that's any, it. Any last words what people could do to support or if there is anything? I don't know what to say because most people don't understand what we're going through. I know. You know, exactly. it's difficult. Um, That's real. You know, we're homeless. We're not criminals. Thank you.